Meet the Baalbek Trilithon. Each of these three limestone blocks weighs roughly 1.6 million pounds, or 800 tons. That's the weight of nearly two fully loaded Boeing 747 jumbo jets. These colossal stones were quarried, moved, and positioned with breathtaking precision. Even with today's technology, moving one of them would be a massive undertaking requiring our most powerful cranes. So how on earth did ancient engineers, supposedly with simple tools and raw muscle, pull off this incredible feat? Welcome to Baalbek, a site the Romans called Heliopolis. What really steals the show here isn't just the majestic Temple of Jupiter, but the foundation it stands on. Three colossal limestone blocks, the Trilithon, form part of the temple's podium wall. Each one is around 62 feet long and 14 feet high, weighing in at an estimated 800 tons. They were placed on a lower course of still massive stones, estimated to weigh around 350 tons each. The scale is just hard to wrap your head around. For centuries, this puzzle has sparked some wild theories, from lost super technologies to giants. But the real solution is arguably even more impressive. To start unraveling this, we have to leave the temple and head about half a mile away to the ancient quarry. And this is where the puzzle gets even deeper. Still attached to the bedrock is a block that dwarfs the Trilithon, the legendary Stone of the Pregnant Woman, which weighs an estimated 1,000 tons. And just when you think it couldn't get crazier, a 2014 excavation uncovered another monolith right beside it, tipping the scales at an almost unbelievable 1,650 tons. It's widely believed these were intended for the temple but were left behind. Perhaps they finally proved too massive even for these ambitious builders, though no one knows for sure. So, how could they have even thought about moving them? Simple ideas like rolling them on logs don't quite add up. The immense ground pressure would require a very sophisticated system, not just a few logs on rough terrain. And brute force? The number of people required would be unmanageable. The most popular theories have long felt incomplete, but the builders had a secret weapon, and it's written right into the landscape. The quarry sits at a slightly higher elevation than the temple. This wasn't a lucky break. It was the first critical clue. The answer probably isn't a single lost superweapon, but a brilliant systematic engineering approach that turned an impossible problem into a manageable one. The builders didn't fight gravity, they used it. By starting from a higher point, the main challenge shifted from lifting to controlling a descent and a powerful horizontal pull. This is where a plausible three-part solution comes into play. First, force multiplication. Archaeologists and engineers theorize the builders almost certainly used multiple capstans, large, rotating winches powered by teams of men or oxen. A single capstan can dramatically multiply pulling force, and by linking several together with ropes and pulleys, they could generate the enormous coordinated power needed. Second, they would have needed infrastructure. You can't just drag an 800-ton block across a field. The leading theory is that they built a dedicated, carefully graded causeway, or track from the quarry, directly to the top of the foundation wall. This clever move would turn a vertical lifting problem into a mostly horizontal pulling problem. The stone, likely on a massive sledge over lubricated rollers, could be steadily winched along this prepared path. Finally, how did they achieve that remarkable precision? Once the block was at the edge of the wall, it's believed that massive levers and wedges were used for the final, painstaking positioning, nudging the colossal weight into its final resting place with an incredibly tight fit. So, we don't need to look to aliens or magic for the answer. The builders of Baalbek weren't just hard-working laborers. They were master engineers who understood physics, leverage, and logistics on a mind-boggling scale. 
By using the landscape to their advantage, multiplying their force with simple machines, and building dedicated infrastructure, they made the impossible possible. The story of Baalbek is a profound testament to the raw power of human ingenuity. What aspect of their engineering impresses you the most? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed unraveling this ancient mystery, be sure to like and subscribe for more journeys into the past.